percent means hundredths. So if we have one percent, that's the same as one one hundredth. And written as a decimal, 0.01. 99% then is the same as 99 hundredths, or 0.99. And 100% then is the same as 100 one hundredths, or 1.00, which can also be written as just 1. Here's 42.5%. That then is 42.5 one hundredths. And to convert this to a simple fraction with integers in both the numerator and the denominator, we'll multiply by 10 over 10 to get 425 thousandths, which as a decimal is 0.425. And now let's put it as a fraction in lowest terms. We'll divide the numerator and the denominator both by 5 to get 85 two hundredths. We'll do that again to get 17 fortieths, and that's our fraction, 17 fortieths, is the same as 42.5%. To convert a percent into a decimal, remove the percent symbol and move the decimal point two places to the left. That's what we did when we converted 42.5% to 0.425. Here's another example, 17.4%. We're going to move the decimal two places to the left and remove the percent symbol and we get 0.174. Here's 63%. It has no decimal point, but we know where it belongs. It's after the 3, so we'll put it there, and then we'll move it 2 to the left, and then we'll remove the percent symbol, and we get 0.63. And there's 3.7%. Move the decimal 2 to the left. We need to add a 0 for the extra place, and we do it, and then we can... Rewrite it by removing the percent symbol and we get 0 .037, the decimal representation of 3.7%. Here's another, 125%. Like the 63%, we know where the decimal is now. We move it over to and we get 1.25. Percents that are over 100% will equal numbers that are larger than 1. To convert a percent into a fraction, first convert it to a decimal, then convert the decimal into a fraction. Here's one that we've already converted to a decimal. So now we'll write 174 one thousandths by using place value and put it in lowest terms by dividing both numbers by 2. And in this case, 87 five hundredths is lowest terms for 0.174. Here's 63%. We know it's 0.63. We write 63 over 100, and that's already in lowest terms, so we're done. 3.7%. We've already converted to 0.037. We write 37 thousandths, and that's already in lowest terms. So we move on to another example. 125%. We know it's 1.25, and I think we all know without doing a lot of arithmetic that 1.25 is 1 and 1 fourth, which if you like to write it as an improper fraction, 5 fourths. To convert a decimal into a percent, move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent symbol. So here's point 12, remove it two to the right, and we get 12 percent. Here's point 3, remove it two to the right, we have to add a zero to fill in the place, we get 30 percent. 1.5, move it to, add the zero, 150%. And 0.057, move it to, place it in the new position, we get 5.7%. To convert a fraction into a percent, first convert the fraction to a decimal, then convert the decimal to a percent. Here's one third. We already know that's 0.3 repeating. We move the decimal point over 2, and we get 33.3 .3 repeating percent. And you'll sometimes see this written as 33 and a third percent. Here's one sixth. We convert that to a decimal. I don't think we've done that one in this lesson or a previous lesson, but we can use a calculator, and we're going to get 0.16 repeating. We move it over 2, and that's going to give us 16.6 .6 repeating percent often written as 16 and two-thirds percent. Here's three and three-fourths. I hope you have three-fourths memorized by now. We get 3.75, which is 375 percent. Percent means hundredths. That's the main point of this lesson. 
To convert a percent into a decimal, remove the percent symbol and move the decimal point two places to the left. To convert a percent into a fraction, first convert it to a decimal, then convert the decimal into a fraction. To convert a decimal into a percent, move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent symbol. To convert a fraction into a percent, first convert the fraction to a decimal, then convert the decimal to a percent.